Hey, this is Dan with School of Sheets. We build custom smart sheet solutions, and today I'm going to be talking about Smart Sheet Automation 2.0. Some tips and tricks for uh, advanced automation features, you know, intermediate to advanced features, as well as how you can get Smart Sheet to do some stuff with automation that it is not natively built to do. But we've uh, developed some cool workarounds to unlock some, you know, not necessarily native features. So in this video, what we are going to be talking about is how to automatically generate documents, how to include attachments and notifications, and yes, you can do that, how you can update symbol columns, also possible. And uh, throughout this process of learning those things, we will create some cohesive workflows, you know, chain several automations together to perform a series of steps for a really complete step, uh, you know, process how you can combine formulas with automations to kind of get the best of both worlds. And then, you know, I'm sure some cool stuff will pop up as I build these solutions. I really just come into these videos with a general idea of what to cover and build things kind of off the cuff. So interesting things always, um, you know, come to light that I want to share with you. So let's jump into Smartsheet. And if you are, you know, a little bit behind the times, you might not know that Smartsheet now has a desktop app, which is what I'm using here. So now I can log into three accounts at once across Google Chrome, Google Chrome Incognito, and this app. So if you have three Smartsheet accounts, you can now use them all at the same time. Pretty cool. This is a sheet that um, we actually featured in our document builder video when that feature was released, you know, maybe a couple of years ago at this point. So if you're interested in learning about document builder in detail, how to set up a mapping and a PDF, all that, Watch that video first and then come back here. I will not be covering document builder in detail. The focus of this video is going to be automations. So this is basically a, you know, limited CRM of sorts, prospective clients, statuses, various information about the client and, you know, the deal in question. There is a document generator mapping already made and it lets you make a PDF that looks like this client perspective information from the row in question flows into this PDF here. You can download it, all that jazz. So to make a document actually get generated prior to the automation being released by Smartsheet, you need to go to your row menu and click generate documents. And then it opens up document builder. You have to click the already made mapping and select how you want the document to be made. And then it's going to take that long. And now we have a new document that has been made, which I just, it'll be the same as I just showed you. So I'm not going to show you again. Okay. Now, how do we make this a automatic process or an easier process? Well, we're going to use automation. So first thing I'm going to do is add a new column here and it's going to be called generate documents. How is that for a clear title? I like my stuff middle aligned, so I'm going to do it. You can align your rows however you like. Okay, so automation. I always create from uh, scratch. I just think it's easier that, you know, this template menu is kind of a bit much for me. All right, so I'm going to make this workflow generate documents. Um, this is going to look kind of redundant. This is um, a call it naming convention system that I use for automations. It helps me just when you, you know, you might have a sheet with 10, 20, 50 automations and you want to be able to look at them quickly and understand what they are. So I always put the name of the automation first. Anything in quotes is referring to a column name. Anything in single quotes is referring to a value within a column. So I could just look at this and after it's made amongst many other automations, be like, oh, okay, this is the one where I'm generating a document when the generate document field gets checked. And okay, so our trigger is going to be, uh, we can do when rows are added or changed. When generate document changes to checked. This is our trigger condition. This is what we want to occur for the document to get made. As far as filtering, I know in this sheet, I have a field that indicates the sale has been lost. So I do not want to send, a, you know, make these documents for a sale that has been lost. I want to sort of keep that information current. So, whoops. I want to make sure sale lost is not checked. So we're only working with open opportunities. Select an action. If you are, you know, taking a guess here, generate document. That's the one we want. 
Got to select your mapping. It's already built. If you have several, choose the right one. This little icon here is, you know, if you modify your mapping as far as which fields are getting sent to which uh, section of your PDF, you're going to want to come in here and click this button so that it all works properly. It might not work if you don't do that. Okay, so now what we're going to have is a lovely feature where if I click this button and save it, remember you got to save. This isn't Google Sheets. It's not going to save for you unless you have auto save after a certain amount of time. It won't immediately save it. All right, there we go. Our indicator that there have been changes made here. And if we look in this, we have February 3rd, 2023, 8.41 a.m. Again, we've seen this document. No need to pull it up again. So what can we do to make this better, a little more cohesive of a workflow? Well, how about after we actually have our document attached, let's clear this cell out so it's fresh. Because if I want to, let's say, you know, I'm working with this, there's no street here. If I get my street in here, maybe this gets updated. Maybe we realized, oh, the, uh, you know, this is going to take a lot longer because it's actually a $250,000 job, whatever. Now, if I want to make a new document, I have to uncheck this and save it and then check it again. Theoretically, you could have the document generate if it goes from checked to unchecked or unchecked to check, basically any change but I think that would get confusing to look at and you want things to be clear. So what I would suggest doing in this case is making another automation that will determine when an attachment gets added and then uncheck this box here. Additionally, what I'm going to do is record the date, date of attachments. And it's not the most clear title, so I'm gonna throw a column description in. Column descriptions are super helpful especially if you're like collaborating across people. I'm just gonna do this column automatically records the date that an attachment was, was recently added to the row. Okay, seems reasonably clear to me. Okay, I like my dates to be center aligned and middle aligned. I like all, well, I like all my stuff middle aligned. I like dates center aligned. I also like to make them the exact same column with because, you know, I'm crazy. Okay, that looks good. I will lock this because I don't want people doing it manually and I'm going to make it a dark gray text. So it's a kind of an indicator you can't change it. It's an automatic feature, etc. All right, so now let's get a few things going. Create workflow from scratch. Now what I'm going to do is use the clear cell value. Whoops, clear, clear cell, generate documents. This is a kind of a unique case because there's no change to a field well, technically the attachment field is a field, but you know, a column that you've added, it's not getting modified with a recognizable value. So I can't put it in my little tiny quotes, but no big deal. So we're going to do, uh, let's do, yeah, when rows are added or changed, sure. When an attachment is added or changed, remember if you uh, basically do the same document mapping several times, you're going to make new versions. That is a attachment being changed. So we're going to run this when it's triggered and what we're going to do, let's do the same filter criteria. So we're consistent. Sale law should be not checked. We are going to clear cell in the generate document. Okay. All right. So we have consistent cr filter criteria, which is a good best practice. And now we are going to move on to actually clearing the cell value. This is pretty simple. All you do is select that particular workflow and then find the, it's a, kind of annoying how this is so tiny, but it's up here. All right, find your column and save it. And while we're here, I'm also going to do the record dates. And let's see here, date of last attachments. When the attachment is added. 
Okay, so when an attachment is added or changed, recorded dates in date of attachment. Oops, okay, date of attachment. Let's make sure that matches. Okay, cool. So now we have a nice little chain of events. So let's test it out. If we let's go with Alpha Bikes, they look pretty awesome. Small business, love that. Give this guy a second to load and do his thing. Look at that. We have our fresh document made. We got the indication when it was made. And we have our uh, checkbox cleared out. We also have different size text, which I do not like. All right. So that's a, a nice way to have a good complete workflow for document generation. And now I think I'm actually going to end this particular video here. And the next one will talk about the um, including attachments in your notifications. So this will maybe become a small series now that I, you know, it's, it's a little longer than I thought it would be. But anyhow, uh, hopefully that was helpful for you. And if you enjoyed the video, you made it this far, please leave a like because it will help, you know, it's a nice free way that takes about two seconds for you to help me for making this video. And subscribe if you want some more Smartsheet related tutorials. If you want that attachment video, that's a, uh, you know, a good one to look out for. If you are someone looking for help for your business with Smartsheet, naturally we do Smartsheet Consulting. It's, uh, you know, it's the business. If you're interested in um, checking that out, go to schoolofsheets.com slash work with us. You'll get a smart sheet form naturally to fill out and then you can schedule a 30 minute call to talk about your project. See if it's a good fit. No obligation, no uh, high pressure sales stuff here. We're pretty, pretty low key people. We just love smart sheet. We don't even have salesmen. It's just me talking to you. Hope you have a great day. Hope this was helpful and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.